install Moodle 2.2 on Bluehost.com server part 1. This is the instructional video that will show you how to install Moodle 2.2 on Bluehost.com server. Uh, this video is broken up into two parts because part 1 covers everything you need to do before you can actually install Moodle 2.2 and then part 2 is the actual process of installing Moodle 2.2 manually on the server. There are a lot of new features in Moodle 2.2 and because of that one of the things, one of the upgrades is that it requires a PHP 5.3.2 server. I'm not a server guy. I'm not I just know that that's a number and my server needs to be compatible. But since it is so new, hosting companies uh, such as Bluehost, I, I don't know about the other ones, they don't offer Moodle 2.2 as a one script or a simple script one click install. So that means if you're like me and you want the newest and the most up to date and stable version of Moodle 2.2, you have to manually install it on your server. Before you even go to download the newest version of Moodle 2.2, uh, don't even don't waste your time unless your server your whoever your hosting company is has a server that is 5.3.2 ready so first go ahead and call your hosting company and you have to ask if their server is PHP 5.3.2 if it's not can it be upgraded uh, so if it can't be upgraded then you're out of luck you just kinda have to wait so the first thing you want to do is go to Moodle or you want to go to either Moodle.org and go to downloads or you can just go to directly to download.moodle.org and right here at the top they have current stable builds and I downloaded this one uh, instead of the one underneath it even though they both say 2.2.1 that's because they said this one is usually a better choice if you're in an actual production instead of just the standalone 2.2.1 um, uh, so I went ahead and click download and it's gonna ask you it's gonna start downloading the zip file and so now I didn't I didn't do any of this stuff I just waited for it to start and then it's going to ask you, well I'm using Chrome so it's just downloading automatically to my to my downloads folder. So I already have it downloaded so I'm going to go ahead and, and stop that. I don't need to keep going. Cancel. And But you would go ahead and let that finish. And then once you're done with that, uh, th now it's downloaded. Now you need to go and check your downloads folder or wherever it downloaded to. And so in my downloads folder, here is the zip file that it created. And so you just need to right click or you need to extract it, whatever program you have to extract it. I'm, I'm on an, an Apple, a Mac, so the programs I use might be different than, than what the you know, PC people have. But, um, but I extracted it and then I renamed it Moodle Example 2.2.1 and you'll see that name get reused over and over in part two and so this is the folder that you need to upload into Bluehost or into your third-party server now can you upload the extracted one because it, it is smaller uh, this one I think is over a hundred megabytes and and the the zip file is you know 31 megabytes could you upload just the zip file and then unpack it or extract it on the on the server I don't know I didn't do that you're more than welcome to try but that's not what I did so I don't know if that'll work or how long that would take uh, so once the downloads are done and I've got this folder here now it's it's ready to get on there I can I can upload it so I'm gonna go into Bluehost and bluehost.com and and then go to my control panel or C panel login and so now my domain is elearningwithmoodle.com um, I've got my password saved in there so I go ahead and log in after that loads go ahead and scroll down to the file section where it says unlimited FTP and while that's loading if you have your own browser or your own program that 
to do an unlimited FTP. It might be faster, it probably will be. This goes through the browser or the, the Chrome browser and, and it worked for me, but it, it took about two hours to get it uploaded. Uh, maybe longer. I don't know. I did it before I went to bed at night. So uh, if if you have a program that that is just for unlimited FTP uploads, well then you can look into setting that up. But this works. It just might take a little bit longer. So first thing you need to go in here and go to public HTML folder. And this is the folder that you want to put it in. And so before I do that, I'll actually click on this one because I don't want it to go in any of these folders. So I click on the public one and make sure that that's on there. And then over on the my my local files, I navigate to to wherever that folder is. So it just takes a couple clicks. And then here is that folder, the Moodle example 2.2.1. And then you just go ahead and click upload selected files and let it run depending on your network speed and and your your internet provider it might go faster or shorter but mine took I think it was at least two hours maybe two and a half hours so once you do that once it's uploaded then you can get started but you have to make sure that you get all this stuff beforehand and then you can go watch part two because it really is broken up into two parts uh, there's you know the pre setup and then the actual part of installing it. Well, that's it of part one uh, to actually see how Moodle 2.2.1 is installed on Bluehost.com server. Uh, find part two of this and check it out. I hope you enjoyed watching this instructional video on an install on uh, installing Moodle 2.2 uh, presented uh, with me, Thomas Bartley, as your presenter.